Hey everyone, welcome to another one of these short Manifold Garden development update videos. Today I'm going to be going over this pretty neat programming pattern that I implemented yesterday. Got some help from the viewers on the stream and it was something I hadn't really seen before so I thought this might be of interest to those of you who are also doing game development. Anyway, let's get started. So you can see here we've got this, um, this door and when I place the cube down, the lights come up on the side. So you can see that these light up. And uh, when I remove the cube, they kind of light, they turn off in a certain direction. So it's like directional lighting up. All right, so, you know, this is something, this is kind of a mechanic, the, a feature that I wanted to add to a bunch of different gameplay uh, components, not just this door. So for example, you can see here, we've got this uh, water detector. And I wanted this to, to, you know, light up pieces as well. The problem though is, and my original, so my original idea was to have it inherit from another abstract class, but the problem with C Sharp is that you cannot inherit from more than one abstract class. I think in Java you can do this, but I'm not 100% sure. So anyway, the idea was, and in this case, water detector is already inheriting from chain activator. This is just a quick detour, but basically what the, chain activator does is it connects different components so in Manifold Garden you've got like you know this is a button it supplies power and then here you've got a door which receives power so and then you know you we have a bunch of different components that will pass the power from the button to the door they can be like wires or different objects um, and so like when you press this button down then the power gets passed this gets passed to this which gets passed to this which then turns on the door and when you turn this off, what it actually does is it sends the turn off message all the way to the door first, like it passes it down and then the door shuts off and then this piece shuts up and then this piece shuts up. So it actually turns off backwards. I'll make another video explaining how this chainable system works. Anyway, the water detector uh, inherits from this chain activator class. Um, so that means I can't inherit from anything else. So I decided to implement an interface, which is basically like a template um, right, so it just says, uh, you know, the interface I light fill, you know, you need to have a method that looks like this. Problem here is that you can't like fill in this method. So there isn't this like base implementation, you know, uh, if chain activator has a method that's like, uh, I don't know, um, um, turn on chain uh, and you want to overwrite that, in water detector, you can still call like base turn on chain, right? So that calls the, the chain activators method. So you can't do that with iLight with this interface. So instead what we did here was we added a proxy. So this class, light fill controller, it implements the interface. You know, it's got this, this is the method that we want. We don't wanna copy this code and put it everywhere else. So, and then we have the static method and that, what it does is if light fill controller is null, it creates a new instance of it and then it calls the set light fill. So in water detector, we implement the iLight fill interface, which tells us we need to have this method. And then we just do light fill controller base light fill. So we're really calling um, this guy here. Uh, and you can see here, door frame light controller. I don't know why the color coding isn't working in Visual Studio, but you can see I've also implemented the iLight fill interface. This inherits from the chain listener class. And here, set light fill again. It's just calling the light fill controller and, you know, having that method called. So, yeah, just kind of a neat little pattern. Um, thought it might be of interest to those of you who haven't seen it before. Right, so that's it for this time. It's a fairly short video. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure to hit like, subscribe to the channel. You can also find Manifold Garden on Steam and wishlist it. That is not my asset. It's a friend's. But yes, Manifold Garden, that's the Steam store page. All right, see you guys later.